Number 34, two vectors are presented as vector A. Let's write it down. Vector A is equal to 3 in the I direction plus 5 in the J direction. And vector B is equal to 2 in the I direction plus 4 in the J direction. Find letter A, the cross product of A and B, the dot product of A and B, A plus B dot product with B and letter D, the component of A along the direction of B. So for letter A, we have to do the cross product of A and B, and this is the equivalent to the determinant of this matrix over here. The first row of the matrix is always the same, it's I hat, J hat, and K hat. The second row is the first vector, so it's 3, 5, and 0. And the third row is the second vector, 2, 4, and 0. So you have to do the determinant of this matrix, and it is equal to 12 in the k direction minus 10 in the k direction, which gives us 2 in the k direction. This is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we have to do the dot product. So A dot B. Uh, the dot product, we just have to multiply the components. So let's paint it as red. This is red and this is blue, right? So the dot product would be 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4. And this gives us 26. That's it. That's the the answer of letter B. Letter C, first we have to sum vector A and vector B. So vector A plus vector B is equal to 5 in the I direction plus 9 in the G direction. I just sum the components, okay, right? So 3 plus 2 equals to 5, 5 plus 4 equals to 9. So this is A plus B. And we have to do the dot product of a plus B with B. So that would be 5i plus 9j dot product with 2 in the i direction plus 4 in the j direction. So the procedure is the same as here. So this is red, this is red, this is blue, this is blue. So it would be 5 times 2 plus 9 times 4 and this gives us 10 plus 36 46 is that it 46 yes 46 so this is the answer of letter C for letter D we have to find the component of A along the direction of B so one of the properties of the dot product for example let's say that we want to do a dot project with the i direction this would give us the component of a along the i direction if we do this with j direction this would give us the component of vector a in the j direction and so on this would give us the, the vector a component in the k direction so this is our strategy over here so if we do a dot b this would give us the the component of vector a in the in into b direction however the vector b is not a unit uh, not a unit vector so we have to divide this vector b for its magnitude its absolute value so it will be uh, a unit vector and then we can do the same procedure as we did over there so that's the only difference that we have to divide it by its absolute value. So it's so when you when we do this, the absolute value of this b over the magnitude magnitude of, of b would be a vector with absolute value of one. So that that's why we are doing this. So b over the absolute value of b would be two in the i direction plus. 4 in the j direction over the magnitude of the of b which is 
the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. So this is, let's say, b hat, because it's a unit vector. So, okay, so all you have to do is multiply a by this vector over here, and then we would find, let's see, we can, we, we can you can see that this is exactly the same as we did in letter b, the, the only difference is that we will divide this by the, the absolute value of b. So this is 26 over the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, and this gives us 5.8. So this is the answer of letter D.